we can show percentages on a bar model. So 50% is half of 100% because 50 is half of 100. So our 50% bar is half the size of our 100% bar or two 50% bars of the same size as one 100% bar. Now we can also show 10 10% 10 bars because 10 times 10 is 100. So our 10% bar is one tenth of the size of our 100% bar. Now for 5% we can see that if we have 5% 20 times we have 100%. Also notice that 5% is half the size of 10%. So if we have two 5% that's the same as having one 10%. And if we show 1% bars we need 100 1% bars to be the same as one 100% bar because one times 100 is 100. And this is useful because if we want to find 50% of a number we can divide by two if we want to find 10%, we can divide by 10 because 10 10% bars are the same as one 100% bar. Now if we want to find 5%, we could divide by 20, but that can be quite tricky. So it's easier to find 5% to halve 10% to find out 10% by dividing by 10 and then divide the 10% by 2 to get 5%. And if we want to find 1%, we can divide by 100. So let's say we need to find 35% of 320. We can represent this on a bar model by showing 320, so our total quantity, as one large bar. And the way we've learnt to find percentages so far is to first divide by 100 and then multiply by the percentage. So we can show 100 1% bars. So to solve this question, we can first divide 320 by 100 to get 3.2. And when we divide by 100, that's the same as finding 1%. So we can color one of our hundredth bars. Then we multiply by 35 and that gives us our answer. And what we're doing when we multiply by 35 is taking the 1% 35 times. So because we get 112.0, we can represent what we've shaded in blue as 112 and that's our answer. But there is another method to finding 35% or finding any percentages. Instead of thinking of 35 1%, we can think of 35% as being 3 10% and 1 5% because 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 5 is 35. Now we know that to find 10% we can divide by 10 and 320 divided by 10 is 32. So instead of the 10% we can write 32 on our bar model. Now if we want to find 30%, that's 10% three times. So because 10% is 32, to find 30%, we can multiply 32 by three. That's 96. So we can show 96 on our bar model, but then we need to find 5%. Remember, 5% will be half of 10%. So to find 5%, we can divide 32 by two. That's 16, so we can write 16 on our bar model instead of 5%. So now, because we want to find 35%, we can add what we got for 30% to what we got for 5%. And 96 plus 16 is 112. So you can see that we get the same answer whether we first divide by 100 and then multiply by the percentage or we can get our answer by finding 10% by dividing by 10, multiplying by 3 
to find 30% and then adding 5% which is half of 10%. Now we need to find 99% of 300. So we can show our whole quantity of 300 as our top bar and if we're finding 99% that's finding 99 hundredths. So we can show what we're finding in blue and then the other 1% we've shown in red. Now to find 1% we can divide by 100 and 300 divided by 100 is 3. But now because we know that 1% like this 1% that we have in red here is 3 we can work out 99% by taking our total quantity and then subtracting the 1%. So 300 minus 3 is 297 which means that 99% of 300 must be 297 and notice that's a lot quicker than finding that 1% is 3 and then multiplying 3 by 99. We'll still get 297 if we work out 3 times 99 but subtracting the 1% from the total quantity is a quicker way to get our answer. Now we need to find 51% of 600. Now we could divide 600 by 100 and then multiply by 51. Or we can show 600 as our total quantity on the top of our bar model and 51% we can represent as 50% and 1%. Now to find 50% we can divide by 2 and 600 divided by 2 is 300. So instead of 50% we can write 300 on our bar model. But now we need to find this 1%. To find 1% we divide by 100 and 600 divided by 100 is 6. So we know that this 1% on our bar model must be 6. So we can see that to find 51% we just need to add what we got for 50% to what we got for 1%. So 51% of 600 is 306. Now let's find 90% of 240. We can show 240 as our total quantity and if we're finding 90% we can show 10% bars and 90% means we need to find the quantity of 9 of those bars. Now to find 10% we divide by 10 and 240 divided by 10 is 24. But we need to find 90%. Now there are different ways that we can do this. If we know that this 10% is 24, then to find 90% we can just subtract 24 from our total quantity and 240 minus 24 is 216. The other way of finding 90% is taking our answer to 10% and multiplying it by 9 because we can see that we have 9 10% bars. That gives us the same answer. So 90% of 240 is 216.